Hello everyone, it's the AWAS. Thank you for checking out this video. This video is about the little adventures for those of us who have busy work and life schedules that limits our ability to go on far away motorcycle adventures. Like many of you out there, I enjoy watching motorcycle adventure videos spanning across the US and the world. I often dream of taking weeks off to travel across the US and other countries like Australia, Africa, and the dunes of Saudi Arabia where the Dakar took place this year, and the list goes on and on. The challenge with those dreams is that I have a very demanding job and I'm raising a family, which I'm sure many of you watching relate to. I often reflect on my core values of family, health, purposeful work, happiness, and adventure, and if I'm living a balanced life. My priorities are taking care of my family, first and foremost, which is the most rewarding part of my life. But I also understand that I need to be able to take care of others, but I have to take care of myself as well in order to do so at the best of my ability. So this is the premise of me posting this video. If you find yourself dreaming of one day planning that adventure in Australia, Spain, Africa, or Saudi Arabia, it's a great bucket list to do those, or at least to plan one of them. In the meantime, True Adventure is right in your backyard. It's the less traveled road, the new town you never visited, the people you meet, the nature around you, and the people you are with. In other words, the experiences of adventure are right there in front of you as long as you're present and paying attention. For many years, my brother-in-law and I have been talking about camping and riding motorcycles together, but our busy work and family lives kept it at just talk. The quote, one day we should discussion that never turned into action. After experiencing the magic of adventure and dual sport motorcycle riding in the North Georgia mountains and sharing my videos with my brother-in-law, he sent me a text stating, let's just book the dates and make it happen. So we did. We booked the dates and committed to this adventure. The challenge was that he didn't have an off-road motorcycle, only a Honda road bike. I have a KTM 790 Adventure R and was planning to buy a dual sport. So the plan was to purchase it prior to our trip and everything luckily fell into place. My 2022 KLX 300 came in late August and gave me time to break it in prior to this adventure. I'm lucky to have two brothers and a sister that I'm very close with, but also consider my brother-in-law Rich as a blood brother. He's known me since I was a teenager, and this was the first time we finally pulled the trigger on going on a motorcycle adventure camping trip together. The months, weeks, and days leading up to this trip was an adventure in itself with lots of communications and planning. So here we are, on the road with the KLX on his truck, and I was following him to our base camp on my KTM. As miles rolled on, we distanced ourselves from work and the everyday stresses as we drove deeper into the Chattahoochee National Forest. All right, Rich, you ready to go on an adventure? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, we're going to go explore a little bit, do some light stuff and uh, check out the area and then uh, go from there. A lot to explore. We're going on an adventure, brother. I'm going on an adventure. How's it feel? All right, you ready? So here we are on our first day where we parked at base camp and headed off to hit around 100 miles of curvy roads and easy dirt trails to get Rich acquainted to the KLX 300 since it was his first time off-road since he was a teenager on a dirt bike. 
We had a semi-detailed itinerary planned for a three-day, two-night adventure, but our goal was to follow the adventure versus a strict plan. We parked at our base camp location at Two Wheels of Such's Motorcycle Camp with plans to set up our tents at the end of the day. On our first day, we explored several trout farms, one of which had interesting facts about the Chattahoochee National Forest, and had a great barbecue lunch off of Highway 60 on a spectacular fall day in Georgia. Got a KTM jacket on a Kawasaki wrist. <laughs> the adventure in adventure motorcycling isn't always about the plan. What I learned on this trip is that true adventure is about the experiences that you did not plan for. The things that catch you off guard, like bears running out in front of you, which I caught on video that you'll see in part two, or the C-130 military plane flyover that felt like 500 feet over our heads uh, during our second night sitting around the campfire with some people that we met. I unfortunately didn't catch that, but it's something I'll never forget. So really, adventure is the people you meet, the secluded places that we found, the nature of the ancient forest surrounding us as well. That's what it's all about. The Chattahoochee Oconee National Forest provides the finest outdoor recreation opportunities and natural resources in Georgia. Featuring nearly 867,000 acres across 26 counties, thousands of miles of clear running streams and rivers, approximately 850 miles of recreational trails, and dozens of campgrounds, picnic areas, and other recreational activity opportunities, these lands are rich in natural scenery, history, and culture. The Chattahoochee Forest National Fish Hatchery was established in 1836 with a mission to assist the recovery of several protected species. Recovery efforts include restocking and holding captive fish to protect the genetic pool of species. It was an amazing sight to see these thousands of fish <laughs> swim as we approached the ponds. While on the trails, we ran into a platoon of army rangers training in the remote forest. They asked us to stay out of sight as the rangers were conducting training, including shooting dummy mortars. <laughs> so we hightailed it out of there pretty quick. That is so cool, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm here with my brother-in-law, my brother Rich, and we are chilling out, taking a little break in the shade. It's a little warmer than we thought, but man, it's a beautiful day. Uh, we're on Nimble Gap Road and right off Forest Road 28. We're going to head back and uh, do some off-road riding. How you liking it, Rich? I'm a rookie, but I'm loving it. He's I'm hooked. Having a great time. He's hooked. I think he's going to buy his bike next. And I'm, I'm grateful to my host who's given oh. me a bike, who's given me clothes, who's given me everything I needed. Wheelies tomorrow? <laughs> no wheelies. No. <laughs> I'll, at least not intentionally. In two days, wheelies, and I'll record it. All right, we'll see you. I don't know what waterfall that is, but we're gonna find a way to go right there, but we're up here, <laughs> so we'll figure it out. Uh, 
Uh, what do we have on the menu tonight, Rich? Hmm. Chickpeas and rice and butternut squash. And, and then we have some black, black bean, bean soup. Soup. Proud cooked in a jet boil. Yeah. We got jet boil. We're going to get the light on soon. And uh, just a beautiful night, isn't it? Gorgeous night. Perfect out. Not too many bugs. Uh, a little bit cool. It's just beautiful. And it's going to cool down a little bit. So we have our setup behind us here. Bikes, tents. We're ready to go. And we actually met people at two different campfires. We're going to hit both tonight. Um, got They're the stringing the lights. What's that tell you? Oh, that's awesome. Apparently he was in a big motorcycle accident. So they just came out here to camp. And he's still recovering. We got the one in the backdrop over there. You can't see it, but they've got a hell of a setup. They're he's riding got bourbon right and rum. Bourbon and rum. So we are there tonight. So they well. got to be good. That's right. We've got our little bourbon barrel cab we're going to tap into here and uh, have a great night. We'll check in at the campfire. Got a big ride tomorrow. We did 100 miles today, mostly off-road. How'd you feel about it, Rich? I loved it. Had a blast. Can't wait for tomorrow. All right. Did it bring you back to your childhood when you rode dirt? <laughs> no. <laughs> that felt like a first time. <laughs> and tomorrow we've got 80 miles we're going to do. It's going to stop at a waterfall called Helton Falls. So I think Rich is going to like that. The beginning's a, you know, a lightly challenging uphill rocks, but he's going to, he did great on the KLX 300. We'll have fun. So we'll check in tonight at the campfire. 20 something bucks on Amazon. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that a zombie killer too? Is that I don't what know, but it's pretty good. <laughs> you yeah. just put it on those tanks. <laughs> so we have a yeah. flamethrower <laughs> to get our fire going tonight. We've got a big, big crowd here. Chris and Christy, they just did the SM500. Got a new group of people here. All riders, we all met, converged. Where you guys This is what it's all about, people. It's Friday morning, first morning of uh, heavy fog. We woke up at about six and uh, it's a little wet out here, but beautiful fog. It's hopefully breaking here soon and the sun will pop out. We had some coffee, making breakfast, and uh, we're gonna do some fun riding today. So we record some of the riding a little bit later today, two water crossings, waterfall. First water crossings for Rich. First of everything for me. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get off the bike and record that one. But um, it'll be a good day. Right? Looking forward to it. Got some more campers in the background. I'm sure it's going to get busy this weekend. But let's hope uh, the fog breaks soon. So you're on the last leg of the Smoky Mountain 500. Yes. What's your name? Justin. Justin, where are you from? Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. So you guys trailered your bikes? Down to Iron Horse. Down to Iron All right. We Great. rode the Dragon on Monday. Ah. Started off to... Terahola. Now we're in Suches and headed to headed. Iron Horse. Final stretch. Final leg. And what? Well, how would you rate it? One to ten. What would you say for uh, people like me that want to try this? Oh, I say it's a blast. I yeah. say anybody should try it. Okay. Um, just get on your bike and go. And go. And you guys came in last night, so you were doing some of those off-road trails. Came in the dark <laughs> and the, did the trails in the dark. That's and, awesome. All right. Well, give a wave. Uh, we're gonna get. You okay? Get on YouTube. I'm gonna yeah, do a little video out of this. Awesome. What are your names? Des. I'm Ben. Ben. I'm Alyssa. And Alyssa. Welcome. Awesome. All right. And on the final stretch of the Smoky Mountain 500. Yeah, I'm going to post this because a lot of people want to do this, including myself. Yeah. So you guys are inspiring. Uh, you're going to inspire a lot of people, I think. All right. Well, safe travels Thanks. back. Good to meet you all. Good Take care. Yeah. One of the many adventurous surprises experienced in this trip were the numerous waterfalls which each required hikes to locate. I had one waterfall hike planned, but we ended up finding four in total. State Vogel Park Waterfall. 
It's amazing, amazing. We actually rode up there. Yesterday we were viewing the waterfall from up there. Today we're viewing it from here. We hiked to it. 